Ivan Harris for Canadian Jewish Archives with Leah Roback, Tuesday, April 12, 1988. Was, was your mother proud of you, proud of your achievements, of your accomplishments? Right. Did it, she let you know? Oh, she, she did, yes. There were things that she didn't uh, appreciate, but uh, I had a right. You see, my family never said, look all the trouble you're bringing in there, the police coming and, right. uh, and all that, not one. What in your upbringing drove you to labor union uh, activities? Well, uh, it wasn't in my family. My family was liberal. They felt ev there's room for all kinds of people. It was true. We learned that you're not only here alone. You've got to give a hand. So, w what what directed you to uh, to the labor movement? Well, to the labor movement, they had no unions in here in Ca They had them in the states, but we didn't have our unions yet. And the Americans would come. They'd send in smart Alex who didn't know their ass from their elbow, and they didn't care. They came here, uh, we're going to organize this thing in three months, bang, 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 sign cards, and that's it. And many of those little uh, factories there, those in the Jacobs building, you should excuse me, with rats running around, mm. horrible, horrible. We used to go through the back stairs, and when the girls would go to the washroom in the back, we'd give them each one folder, one uh, paper that we had put out, and say, put it in the toilet. The girls go, they'll find it. Oh, I football, I don't want. I suppose why that worked on a law but what they say. And we did. There was a need for a union. There was a need for a union. The bosses paid under the table there. If the girl was nice and had a nice little tussy, she'd get extra. She'd do things for the boss. But if she was there as a worker, they paid. They told her, c'est six pièces par semaine. And then it went up to it. When they heard that there was a union, oh, what did they set gas for some Well, we were asking 11. <laughs> and uh, they sent uh, this Rose Posada. She was a wonderful organizer, a Ukrainian Jewess, but she always said she was Spanish. <laughs> because at that time, Jews, not so kosher. So she'd say, Pasata? Her name was, I don't know, Prushnitz or something. Pasata, do. And she told me, I was in the factory, I was working until I'd get thrown out, then I'd go to another factory. And uh, Rose Pasata said, We're going to organize. And I knew about unions. I said, It's about time. She says, Will you help us? I said, Sure, I will. I did. And finally, I got, I got thrown out of the factory because they didn't want an organizer on the line. And so I told Pasata, she said, you'll work with me. But she also got soft, you know. It was one of those easy unions. You got to be friends with the bosses too, Leah. Look, you can't always be at them. I said, if a worker is not getting his or her pay, as the union contract says, we're going to fight. So he says, what will you get? I said, I'm not getting anything. Don't bother about me.